Hey everyone tuning in, uh, we are back again. Um, first time wasn't so successful, so uh, yeah, we thought we'd but give it another crack. If you guys are watching this back, um, give me a hashtag replay. And this is like the last time you ever asked me to do a live. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> the first, the first and the last. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Um, just uh, to give everyone a little idea of how we met, I think the first time we, um, we really hung out was in, in Sydney. I remember hanging out at, uh, <gasps> at Bondi. You and Robbie came along and uh, you guys were doing a, a sip and sample and went out for dinner and stuff. Um, it was the first time I really had a chat with you, I think. Yes, I remember that. That was Thank good. We went, we went and had cocktails <laughs> in <Yeah>. Bondi. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a great day. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say like something I've always admired about you as well. Like You've always been uh, very down to earth, very approachable and easy to talk to. Um, so I'm glad you could join us tonight. Thank you so much for asking me to be on your live. <laughs> Thanks. So um, for everyone here, can you just give us a bit of a, a background, um, who you are, where you're from, um, what your passions are? Oh, what my passions are. Okay. So my name's Sarah McNeil. Thank you so much for having me on your live tonight. Um, so... Where am I from? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm now on the Gold Coast. Um, having spent, uh, I actually was born in Melbourne, having spent 20 years here on the Gold Coast. I grew up and went to school and, and all of that. Um, and that's where I started my uh, wedding and events career. Uh, and then in 2014, moved back to Melbourne. And that's when I started on my health journey, also my, um, you know, health and wellness journey and financial journey as well. Uh, and then in 2018, started traveling full time uh, around Australia and then just recently have now settled back down on the Gold Coast. So that's where I'm from. I guess. <laughs> um, and, oh, look, my passions, my passions are helping people, helping people with their health um, and creating a life that they love. Um, but personally, if you follow me, love my F45 um, and love, you know, uh, traveling and being outdoors and just being surrounded by friends and family and karaoke i love karaoke <laughs> <laughs> that's something you won't you won't really see me doing so <laughs> next time kev when you're here we're going out to karaoke <laughs> awesome cool so and, and you've done um a couple of charity runs as well is that right yeah so i did a triathlon um for uh to raise money for my daughter's charity heart kids uh that was back in 2013 so it was an olympic size triathlon um which was a 1.5k swim 40k ride and a 10k run so i did that um and yeah i've done other triathlons and different things as well for charity so cool that's awesome um so what did life look like before you started on your health and wellness journey yeah, so um, I'm a mum of two children. So Ma Matilda's uh, 10 now and Willow is seven. And, you know, before I started, um, life was very, very different. Um, I was, I guess, 
I guess I'll talk about Willow because Willow was born in 2011 and she was born with a congenital heart disease. So, you know, for, for me, my life was turned upside down. I had a very sick baby um, and that put a lot of stress on me. So, you know, as I was trying to be the best mom and the best friend and the best wife that I could possibly be, um, I did lose a piece of myself. So, uh, at that point, I gained a lot of weight. I fell into some unhealthy eating and drinking habits and just really lost all motivation to care for myself. Um, so that's that kind of continued on for a couple of years, um, both physically and mentally. I was on a pretty fast downward spiral. So that was prior to, to starting um, the program. And in terms of work, like I was working around the clock. So I was an event manager And I used to work um, pretty much, say, Tuesday to or Wednesday to Sunday. So, you know, all of my weekends were taken up working, public holidays, all the, you know, really important days like Mother's Day and Father's Day and and Easter long weekend and things like that. Like I'd have to be at work because I'd be putting on events um, and, you know, weddings are are late at night. So, yeah, working around the clock and not really having um, any quality family time. So health and lifestyle, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't something that was very enjoyable at the time. So were you were you actually looking for for something looking for a change or or did someone approach you or how did that happen? Yeah, so in 2014 um we were offered an opportunity to move to Melbourne. Uh that was for a career change for my husband and at that point uh, I'd given up my um, event and wedding planning career to move there with the intention to be a stay-at-home mum for pretty basically the first time. Um, none of the bad habits had changed at that point. So I was still drinking red wine. I was still living off coffee. I was still lost all the motivation to exercise and things like that. So health-wise, I was still in the same position. And then moving to Melbourne and being unemployed, I was really like wondering where my life was going. So um, I wasn't really looking for anything. I just, I, I was just like, okay, so this is my life now. I'm in Melbourne, stay at home mom. Um, it is what it is. But it was because I was sitting on the couch one day and it was freezing cold in Melbourne. No one wanted to go outside. Like it's minus six degrees. It's nearly snowing. Scrolling Facebook and came across my girlfriend's, you know, posts and they were consistently coming up. They were popping up and she was looking amazing. She was losing weight. She, her, she was glowing. She had all this extra energy. And I was like, you know what? I, I've tried so many things, like I've tried so many things to lose weight and feel better about myself and nothing was really long-term um, that fitted into my lifestyle long-term. And so, yeah, her posts kept popping up and I was like, I'm going to reach out to her because I really want to know what she's doing. I, I think in my mindset, I was ready. I was ready to make a, a drastic change. And so I reached out and she introduced me to the nutritional cleansing and, and that's, that's how it all sort of started for me. Cool. That's awesome. So, um, take us to like your first 30 days and and 90 days on the program and uh, give us a little insight to what happened. Yeah. So I was pretty much sold straight away. Like her results were incredible. She was somebody that I'd known for 15 years, loved, trusted, you know, you don't, share something with somebody that you don't love yourself and you're not passionate about yourself and you're, you haven't experienced yourself. So I knew that, you know, I loved, I trusted her. So I knew that, you know, it it obviously works. I was a little bit skeptical because I thought, Oh, is it going to work for me? You know, like I tried a number of other things that hadn't and was this going to work for me? But I was pretty much sold and, you know, I started my first 30 days and within like two weeks I had lost three kilograms. So I was stoked with that because I'm, I was pushing a size 14 at the time and I'm only short. So pushing a size 14 is, is, was, it was, in, it was uncomfortable for me. And, you know, like I don't often scales and, and sizes don't, shouldn't matter but when you're feeling uncomfortable within yourself then you know that something has to change so 
Yeah. Um, so that three kilograms that came off within the first two weeks was was great and I was so happy. Um, but I actually called my friend, Robbie, by the way, her name is, and I said, look, I've lost three kilograms. It's amazing, but I'm just looking for this extra energy that everyone keeps talking about. <laughs> and she's like, okay, just you've lost three kilos. That's amazing. Like let's celebrate that. Keep going. Trust the products like trust trust the program and and enjoy it and so that's what I did and I kept going and within the third week I think it was my energy levels were like through the roof like it was phenomenal I was jumping out of bed I found the motivation to start exercising again I started running I was doing like 5k around the block um and within the first 30 days I'd lost about five kilos but what was really noticeable was um, the centimetres. So I think it was about 56 centimetres off my entire body and that was 10 centimetres off my stomach. So any mums out there or anyone like just holding a little bit of extra weight around the midsection, it's really tricky to get rid of. But with nutritional cleansing, because you're incorporating that intermittent fasting, um, it really does target that 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 weight there. So that was gone within, thank you. My eyebrows look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Nikki. Does anyone have some more uh, compliments for Sarah? <laughs> uh, um, so, so yeah, within that first 30 days, like that, that midsection completely gone, um, 56 centimeters, five kilos, but it was the energy, like the, the weight loss was just like a side bonus it was like the energy the mental clarity I became a lot more patient a lot more calmer with the kids and just I, I just felt like such an overall sense of um health and health and wellness like health and happiness like it was like getting your spark back that I'd missed for such a long time so that was pretty much my first 30 days and I stuck to it like a T, like I was in the right mindset. I had an incredible support person. The whole community of what we have is what got me through that first 30 days. So, yeah, it was, it was awesome. That's amazing. So um, this is more of a, a lifestyle program than, than like a quick fix. So um, fast forward us to today, like how do you integrate it into your lifestyle? Yeah, so I don't go a day without it. Um, after that first 30 days, I went on to lose eight kilos in the second month and then 10 kilos in about two and a half months. So I continued to follow the program to a T um, and, and saw those results. And then for me, that 10 kilos was enough. Like I'd gone down to about a size eight and that was enough for me for my, my height um, and was quite happy to... Um, yeah, just incorporate the products that I loved and that I enjoyed and that I knew that I benefited from. So four and a half years later, like I'm still at that weight. I'm still full of energy, still got motivation to exercise, still got mental clarity, like just, just absolutely loving it. And yeah, like I said, there's not a day that goes by that I don't wake up and I have my, my little stress shot, stress tonic, shot that combats any stress in my life <laughs> um i have my superfood smoothie i have all my vitamins you know i cleanse every now and then uh, i incorporate all the snacks into my day as well obviously there's there's lots of um fresh food that we buy from the supermarket um but it's all incorporated into my day with the products uh, I do a lot of training as well at F45, so I'll do that, you know, like four times a week and I use all the products to go with my training. So I've got like a really cool pre-workout, which gives me energy. I've got recovery products, um, everything. Like the, the, the program just offers absolutely everything to incorporate into your lifestyle on a daily basis. That's amazing because we hear so many stories about people yo-yoing, they feel great and then they go off track and and all that kind of stuff. So to be able to sustain it over a long term, like that's what really makes a difference, right? Yeah, yeah. And I've tried a lot of things. And, you know, you'll see results in the first couple of months if, if you last that long. Um, and then, you know, you go back to old habits. It hasn't taught you anything. 
It hasn't taught you how to fuel yourself correctly with the right nutrition because it's all, most of it's prepackaged and comes to your doorstep in some like foam and you put it in the microwave. So you don't really learn how to fuel yourself correctly. Um, But with this, you know, you're getting the best nutrition, combining it with a healthy meal plan. Um, So, and it's so convenient and it tastes amazing. So it's so easy just to slot into your lifestyle especially being a busy mom or somebody who's, um, you know, on the go for work and, and things like that. It's just, yeah, it's just really, really easy to fit into your lifestyle. That's awesome. And um, I mean, Leonie's question was the next one that I was going to ask as well. Um, so what, what's your favorite product? Because it's a system of products that you use, right? So um, which yeah. ones would really stand out? I I got asked this question today on another interview and I couldn't answer it because <laughs> every product has like a different a different benefit like a different reason for taking it and I pretty much incorporate everything into my day so but oh, look if I had to choose one my little e shots my little energy shots are definitely something that I can't go without and. Yeah, I, I love them. I have them before a workout or I have them, you know, if I just want to um, have one in the afternoon, you know, I'm ready to go pick up the kids and I know they're going to be <laughs> crazy when I, when I pick them up. So I need to have a little bit of extra energy. So I'll have an e-shop. But, you know, there's not a day that goes by that I don't wake up and have my superfood smoothie. Um, it just gets your day started the best it possibly can. It gives you everything you need. It curbs your cravings. It fills you up. It tastes amazing. Um, it's better than running out the door, you know, with nothing or like a coffee in your hand or a piece of toast or a sugar-filled cereal. So, you know, a superfood smoothie is definitely something that um, I couldn't live without. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so, like, transitioning into the business now that you've, that you've built, um, why did you go from a, from like a product user to start looking at the opportunity to generate an income? Yeah, so it was very organic. I wasn't looking for a business. As I said previously, I'd, I'd just become a stay-at-home mum for the very first time, although I am a hard worker and I do love to, to work and I do love to connect with people and meet new people. But at the time, it certainly wasn't to start a business. It was purely to change my health. Um, but it happened organically and I started with my mum and my friend. So that actually opened up um, my eyes to the potential of what this can offer you Um, because when I first started, I received like a bonus into my bank account, which pretty much paid for my first um, my first pack when I started. And at the time, finances weren't great. So that was incredible, like so forever grateful. And that paid for my first pack. And then my results were quite significant and noticeable. So people were asking me, what are you doing? Like, you look amazing. You've got all this extra energy, like far out. What are you doing? And so I would share it and I would be like, passionate about that because you know like I'd I'd had this great transformation and I was quite active on Facebook with sharing my journey and things like that so that bonus that I initially got that actually continued from week to week and it was paying for my products moving forward so I could stay on the program and and continue to to see the results and and enjoy the benefits but once it was like climbing to a a quite a like an income that I couldn't ignore anymore I'm like holy shit like I really need to take this serious like I need to immerse myself into what this is learn everything about it and I, I don't have any sort of experience in this industry so I was coming in had no idea what it was but I just Robbie would say, you know, watch this video or read this book or go to this event. And I would do that because I could see the potential of what it could could give myself and my family. So, yeah, as I said, that money was increasing week to week. And, you know, financially at the time we weren't in a great space, but within two years we became debt-free and uh, something happened 
in 2016 where it was quite a shock to us. Um, but because I'd immersed myself into the into learning everything there was to know about the business and created a, an amazing online health and wellness business from home around my children, um, what had happened at that time was okay. Like we were okay. If I hadn't have done that, we would have both been back in, into full-time work, kids in childcare, after-school care, daycare, whatever. Um, and then from there we realised that we, what we have in our hands is something pretty special and we don't have to live in Melbourne anymore as such. We can potentially live anywhere we like um, because I can work from my phone. I can work anywhere where there is Wi-Fi and you would know that too because you've done a lot of travelling as well and you've been able to yeah. do this from anywhere. Um, and so that's when we made the decision to start travelling and that was a year in planning. We, we, we had to plan where we wanted to, um, to go, what we wanted to travel in and all of that. And, you know, the, the company has been able to help us create and live that dream and, and you know, we did that for eight months and we, we travelled around Australia and gave the kids an amazing experience. But, um, yeah, so the opportunities are endless and I'm, yeah, just so grateful for it. That's incredible. So um, what does your life look like now? Now you've, you've created a business. I mean, you've got, you've got an amazing team around you as well, a, a fantastic tribe. So, um, you know, what's, what's it like living day to day? So day to day, um, and yeah, I have to send a massive thanks and gratitude and so blessed to have all the beautiful people um, in my tribe that I get to talk to every day and hang out with every day. Uh, and support and mentor them through their own journey. Um, but, you know, like every day is is the way I want it to go. So I'm now on the Gold Coast. I'm, I'm here with friends and family, back with friends and family. Um, I get up, I take my kids to school, you know, I do my F45, I catch up with friends. Um, like whatever I want to do, I can just do it and, you know, I've pretty much prior to this had ticked everything off my vision board. So I've got a completely blank vision board and I need to, to redo that now and um, put, some, put some new goals and dreams and visions up on there and um, that's what I'm striving for now. And, um, but mostly it's just to, to help others at the moment to create that same lifestyle um, you know, the ones that, that want it, the ones that can see outside the box and have an open mind and ready to get out of their comfort zone and really live a life that they love. So I'm, I'm here to help them and that's what I'm doing every day. That's amazing. So um, anyone who's kind of like stuck in a rut or doesn't like their current circumstances, whether it is with their, their health or their wealth, like what would you recommend for them, like how do they start making that positive shift? Yeah, I guess it is timing and, and these the sorts of things will pop up at the right time. It certainly did for me. Sometimes it can pop up and, and it's not the right time, so you kind of dismiss it, but it will pop up again and it will be the right time and you will know that, okay, yes, this is it, this is the time, I'm going to say yes. Um, but just... I guess if you're coming into the health, in for the health side of it, just really trust the program and, and trust that the products are phenomenal and um, they are life changing and just enjoy it and listen to whoever got you started because, you know, they've done it. They know what to do. They know, they know how to coach and mentor you um, to get the best results that you can. Um, and then if you are looking for, you know, a side income or a side hustle or whatever it may be. You just want a little bit of extra income just to go on a family holiday or pay some money off your mortgage. Like that's all uh, possible and you just need to be open-minded and coachable and, and we can definitely help you. But I just think, yeah, it's timing and you'll know when it's the right time. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And um, in terms of like your vision for the future, like what, is, what does it look like? Oh gosh, I don't know. I can't really, I can't really, I, I don't know at the moment. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really focused on, um, 
everyone in my team at the moment just really, really focused on them and making sure they're getting the best results from their program and making sure that, um, yeah, they're, they're achieving their goals. I mean, I'm here on the Gold Coast. I'm creating a new life and a new chapter and that's kind of all I'm doing at the moment. But, yeah, just looking forward to helping more people. Well, that's awesome. And is there anything else you want to share, anything that I didn't ask you that you want to tell anyone? Or... Um, no, I think we've, we've pretty much covered it. If anyone has any questions, feel free to like pop, the, pop them in the comment box. We can always go back and, and answer them later on. But, you know, I think, I think we've covered everything. Awesome. Thank you so much for um, spending some time this evening. I know we had a bit of uh, like some technical issues <laughs> earlier on. <laughs> but uh, coming back for a round two, that was uh, fantastic. So I really appreciate it. No worries at all. Thank you so much for having me. No worries. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Bye.